At Davos, there's a gigantic, often belligerent bear in the room. It's called China, and every global leader, banker and financier is looking nervously to see what the Asian powerhouse will do next. There are real concerns that China's economy is in danger of overheating. The central bank and the government are trying to cool down the economy by raising interest rates, reducing public spending. Economic policies have been tightened up, and as a result, we will probably see a kind of soft landing. There have been criticisms of China's economic tactics, including the impact of keeping the currency artificially low to keep its exports flowing to the West. Today, the Chinese clearly show they want to tighten up monetary policies, and as a result, the slowdown we will see in China probably means that we will see less help propping the world economy in coming months. And what the Chinese hope for is that the US and Europe will start growing again. China survived the storms of the past two years better than its Western rivals. But the state of China's property and stock markets and its soaring growth has heightened inflation fears. We can see that the Chinese government is cautious about a bubble starting to emerge. And China's central bank raised the reserve requirement ratio in mid-January. They may seek other ways to regulate the money supply in the market. Economists say China runs the risk of a sharp recessionary correction, which could hit recovery around the world. So at Davos, world deciders will be hoping the bear in the room does not have too much of a sore head.